bullseye every week with her hard riding. Great shooting. And that deputy of hers brought the body into town. We'd better hit for the border. I've kind of made a habit of breathing. So I, Lou. But we'll still have a chance at that money. Are you crazy, Miller? It'd be suicide to try and rob that bank again. I found out the bank's making a big shipment day after tomorrow. After what happened today, they won't expect us to hit them again so soon. And this time, I'll find a way to play it safe. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Gee, thanks a lot. Well, let's see. Say, you're pretty good. Oh, it ain't so much. There we go. Gee, thanks a lot. Say, you know someplace around here I could get my horse boarded? Sure, Miss Curtis, down the street and around the corner. You can't miss it. Well, I guess I did. <laughs> Say, uh, what time does the bank open? Oh, about 20 minutes. Say, you're new in town, aren't you? Yep. You gonna make a deposit at the bank or something? Nope, I'm gonna rob it. You're gonna, you're gonna what it? Gonna rob it. I would have come to Diablo long before this if I'd known there's anything like you around. Why, you're near as pretty as a Texas gal. Yeah, the uh, stage schedule is posted on the door over there. Horses boarded 50 cents a day in advance. I reckon that's what I want, then. I'll pay you for a week, but I expect I'll be here lots longer than that. Thank you. My name's Jonathan Douglas, but folks call me Smiley. 
pleased to meet you. Now, if you'll excuse me, your horse will be well taken care of. Well, it's times like this, I wished I was a horse. <laughs> Howdy, mister. Are you an employee of the bank? I'm the manager. Wilson is the name. Well, that's right nice. I'm Smiley Douglas. I'd like to talk a little business. Well, won't you come inside? What would I do with that key? Pleasure, Mr. Wilson. Thank you very much. I... You unlocked the door. Yes, sir. Glad to be of help. But I have the only key. Oh, I reckon opening locks never has been much trouble for me. I ain't found one yet I couldn't get into. Well, just what was it you wanted, Mr. Douglas? The money out of your safe. Money? My safe? Yes, sir. I'm a bank robber. See, I, I'd appreciate it awful much if you'd hurry, because my boys might get anxious. Your boys? Yes, sir. The two gentlemen sitting out in front there. It's awful noisy when they start shooting. Why, this is preposterous. I don't believe it. Well, it's true. Are you ready to commence, sir? Uh, you see? One to the right. Forty-two to the left. Well, now, sir, I, I believe I believe I've made you nervous. Uh, sir, look, now you, you just go back here. Here's a nice chair. Now, you just set a spell and let me do it for you. Sure don't know how to thank you, sir. I do want you to know I appreciate it. Uh, one thing now, sir. Uh, you do me a big favor. Uh, don't stick your head outside for a minute or two. I wouldn't like to see you get it blowed off. Uh, I better set this here for you, sir. I always do believe in leaving things just like you find them. Well, this is your first. Sorry. Well, sir, it has been a real pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Uh, Wilson. Uh, sir, uh, one thing, uh, under the circumstance, would you mind if I use the back door? This did not happen to me. I think I've got enough to worry about with yesterday's real robbery. Not listening to your talk of an imaginary one. Help! Help! The bank's been robbed! See what I told you? The bank's been robbed! Help! Somebody help! The bank's been robbed! Mr. Wilson, what happened? What? The bank's been robbed! Arrest those men! They're part of the gang! What men? Th th those two! But, Mr. Wilson, you know those men. They've been around here for years. I don't care how long they've been around. The man that robbed me said they were with him. Who robbed you? Oh, a young fella, tall and skinny. Talk for the Texas draw. That's the guy I was telling you about, Annie. Open the bank door with a pocket knife. Open the combination of the safe. Says he can open any lock. Did you see which way he rode out? I didn't see anything. I was afraid I'd get killed. I think his name is Smiley Douglas. You know him? Sounds like the same man who boarded his horse with me. Paid me a week in advance. But why would he board his horse just before robbing a bank? Well, I guess I'll have to take you two fellas in until this thing gets cleared up. <laughs> Do something! Shoot him! You don't have to shoot, Deputy. I ain't even armed. Here's your money back, Mr. Wilson. I, <laughs> I guess that's about the best doggone joke I ever did pull. Joke? Yes, sir. As a real... <laughs> a real tummy buster. I'm afraid the humor of it escapes me, mister. What's the matter with you folks? Don't none of you got a sense of humor? These folks have worked hard all year to get their roundup money in the bank. 
Almost losing it isn't anything to laugh about. Well, doggone, and nobody got hurt. Just to show you I mean well, have a cigar, Mr. Wilson. I guess you folks will all remember Smiley Douglas, huh? I aim to settle right here in Diablo. One thing's sure, you're spending your first night in the Diablo jail. Well, I sure hope you serve good food there, because I'm hungry as a Texas Longhorn. <laughs> Wait just a minute, deputy. Come on inside. Just one little minute. Tag, you better go get Lofty. Tell him the food's ready if he is. Okay, sis. Sure smells good. And it's a good cook. Mmm, mmm. Smiley. I ain't smelled nothing that good since I left the panhandle. How in the world did you get out of that cell? Didn't Lofty take your pocket knife away from you? Yes, ma'am, he sure did. Well, then how did you do it? There ain't no lock strong enough to keep me away from home cooking. I use this little piece of bed spraying. Oh, Smiley, <laughs> I give up. Here, sit down. Now, ma'am, I want you to understand that I ain't exactly the bragging kind, but I am a real escape artist. <laughs> Why, there ain't nothing can hold me, not locks, nor ropes, nor nothing. You seem to be kind of a knack, I have. Yeah? Yes, I guess you have. Here, is that enough? I reckon it'll do for a start. You know, Smiley, Diablo welcomes newcomers, but uh, I hope you've learned your lesson about those practical jokes. I don't know, ma'am. I uh, I just can't seem to resist a good joke. That one you pulled this morning was pretty cruel. You all made a big impression on everybody. No, didn't I? <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna forget old Smiley Douglas around here. Is that why you did it? To yes, attract attention? Yes, ma'am. Man, you've got to make yourself noticed to get along in the world. I never meant no harm with my joking. See, uh, what I'd do, see, I'd, I'd, I'd pull off a real good one, and the people would sit up and say, Oh, that Smiley Douglas, he is a real card. They noticed me, they knew my name. I figured if I was going to, you know, come here and settle in Diablo, I wanted to start off with a real bang. Well, you did that all right, but... I'm not so sure it was the right way to start. What do you mean? Well, Smiley, I mean you're wrong about people. Give them a chance and give yourself a chance. You can win a lot of friends just by being yourself. Sure never worked out that way. I like you. Without the jokes. You do? Sure I do. And so will a lot of other folks if you'll just let them. Like the... Miss Curtis, maybe? Jill? I'm sure she'd tell you the same thing. You figured, you figured that I could get her to like me just being plain old Smiley, no jokes or nothing? Well, it's worth a try. Doggone if it ain't. Annie! Annie! You let him out? Nope. He just unlocked the cell. With the bed spring wire. Well, mister, you're looking for real trouble. You can't just... I don't think he'll cause any more trouble. I suppose you want me to let him go. Well, I don't see much sense in locking him up when he just walks out again. Unless we take out the bed springs. I'm not even so sure that'd do much good. All right. It's against my better judgment. Well, I'd better get over and see Jill Curtis about a few things. You mind if I go along with you, ma'am? Oh, not at all. Here you are, Barney. Looks like you served a short sentence, Mr. Douglas. Oh, Miss Oakley's been wonderful, giving me another chance. You're here to stay, then? Yes, ma'am, and I sure do hope you and me can get to be good friends. Perhaps. Jill, you ought to take on some extra help around here. Running this line's a pretty big job. Well, I, I reckon I could help you, ma'am, if you wanted me to, that is. Well, I... Mr. Miller, hello. Hello, Miss Curtis, Miss Oakley. All this activity around here has me curious. Especially these. We're bolting the safe to the floor of the stagecoach. That roundup money's getting real protection this time. Combination lock and all. You're making it pretty tough on outlaws, aren't you? That's the idea. Well, I'll give these a try. Excuse okay, me. Barney, I'll be right with you. Young fella, 
You've had a chance to see our town. How do you like it? You gonna stick around for a while? Yes, sir. I kind of like the people here about. Annie, would you like to take a look at it? I sure would. Uh, well, I, I, I'm going to be taking my horse out tomorrow morning. See, I, I thought I'd kind of take a ride around Diablo and see the sights. Your horse will be ready, Mr. Douglas. Oh, come on. Call me Smiley. All right, Smiley. Uh, you wouldn't have time to go ride with me, would you? Well, I'm afraid not. With money going out tomorrow, I'll, I'll be very busy. Come on, Annie. All right. Uh, excuse me. You, uh... You kind of like Miss Curtis, don't you? I sure do. But it don't seem like she feels the same. Well, maybe I can help you. Can you help me? Sure, with Miss Curtis. Come here. Of course, you, uh, you know how she loves a real good joke. Hmm? She does? Well, sure. oh, you play a practical joke on Joe Curtis, she'll be like putty in your hands. Well, I don't know. I'll... That bolted down safe in the stage. She thinks that nobody could possibly get into it. Now, if you were to open that thing up tomorrow and take the money out, just like you did at the bank, she wouldn't know what was going on. No, I don't think I'd better know. See, I had a talk with Miss Oakley, and uh, she kind of changed my thinking. Hmm. Yeah, it's all this big talk of yours. It's just typical Texas. Now, hold on there. You can talk about me, but don't you talk about the great state of Texas. All right, settle down. Look, if I didn't want to help you, I wouldn't suggest all this. <laughs> it sure would be a funny one. <laughs> <laughs> it sure would. But come to think of it, I don't know as you're right about Miss Curtis liking jokes. I'm sorry, but that's just the same. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, Mr. Miller. Well, that looks safe enough, doesn't it? It does look foolproof. I certainly hope it is. Let's see why it shouldn't be. I wonder if you'd do me a favor. Of course. I have to go over to the bank to see Mr. Wilson about some last-minute details. Would you wait here for Smiley Douglas? Tell him his horse is inside, ready and waiting. My pleasure, Miss Goodness. Smiley. Is, uh, Miss Curtis around? No, no, she had to go over to the bank. She wanted me to tell you, though, your horse is inside, all saddled and ready to go. Well, thank you. That's right nice. Don't mention it. <laughs> Smiley, I... I told you that Jill Curtis was a real good practical joker. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 that's what it was. <laughs> oh. See, I, I figured the horse was losing weight. Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean that, that Miss Curtis... She, yeah, yeah, she... She loosened her sink. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you're not gonna let her get away with it, are you? No, I, I don't reckon I should. Uh, the only thing is I'm, I'm afraid she might get mad. Man. Oh, just because we take the money out of that boulder down safe? Yeah, I, I, that might be overdoing oh, it. No, no. She's going to laugh harder than anybody. Believe me, you're going to be a real big hit. <laughs> it sure would be a dandy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Everybody wondering what happened? Yeah, it sure would. <laughs> Tell me, though, uh, just how are we going to go about it now? See, they ain't going to put the money in until uh, just before the stage leaves town. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, uh... I, I've got that all figured out. Yeah? You see, the stage stops about a mile outside of town, the outpost. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's only a mail stop. We'll just have a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> that'll be time enough for you. No, I reckon so. Oh, that's great. Now, here's what we do. Are you in? 
stand right here until I get him talking to me. You understand? All right, sir. What you doing way over here? I'm just on my way over to Denton, Barney. I stopped in to get myself some makings. You boys have got quite a trip ahead of you. Yeah, sure has. Noticed a few clouds over the pass. I sure hope you don't get rained on. Well, it does when you're used to it. Hey, Barney, you have a rest stop in Boonville, don't you? Oh, yes. That sure appreciated if you deliver a message to a couple of friends of mine. I think you know them. Lou Schaefer and Mandy McDonald? Oh, yes, I do. These boys have been holding out on me for quite a spell now, and I think I don't know it. But I do, and I'd like you to tell them that I'm going to be over that way sometime next week. I'll tell them. I'll say them. What? Much obliged. Take nothing of it, Barney. Have yourself a nice trip. Thank you. Get up! Go! 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 Sure wish I could see their faces in Ridge City when they open that safe. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> yeah, it sure was, Smiley. Only, uh, this time the joke's on you. What do you mean? I mean the hand is quicker than the eye. <clears throat> Hurry up. Get that top ready. Get his hands. All right, let's pick him up. I'll take him over there. Wrap him up in it. By the time anybody finds him, we'll be long gone. Come on, let's go. I just thought I was pulling a joke, ma'am. I didn't mean no harm. I'll never forgive you. You're the last person in the world I'd want to hurt, ma'am. I figured you'd think it was funny. I didn't know that Miller was an outlaw. And you don't know which way they were headed? No, ma'am. Well, we better get started, Annie. We can pick up the trail at the outpost, if we're lucky. I sure should have listened to you, Miss Oakley. I'm sorry. So am I, Smiley. So am I. <laughs> I didn't mean no harm. Oh, leave me alone. I really mean it when I say I'm sorry. Oh, I suppose you do. I believe him, Jill. I don't think Smiley will be pulling jokes anymore. No, ma'am. May the great state of Texas be swallowed up tomorrow if I'm lying. See, ma'am, I did it all to get you to like me. I sure was a, a plumb fool to believe that Miller varmint. Ah, uh, Smiley's pretty far gone on you, Jill. You better give him. All right, Smiley. I forgive you. Maybe... 
Maybe I could buy you dinner tonight to kind of kind of make up for things. Well, I I don't know. I I'll buy you the biggest, thickest, juiciest old steak in town. P please, ma'am, please. What did you do? Tag. That's a real tummy buster. <laughs> <laughs> you better unlock them, Tag. I don't have the key. Well, uh, Smiley can, can't you? I don't know as I want to, Tag. I kind of like it this way. <laughs> <laughs>